Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at the MySQL I extension, uh, but we're going to we're going to look at the object oriented features of it. Um, you can pretty much do the same things in an object oriented way, and it's really the recommended way nowadays. So, first of all, I want to go into our this was in um, the chapter before the last chapter we did this. <clears throat> we created a connection and we ran a query to get all the employees and then we put all the employees in a table and then we went on to create a products table. We grabbed all the products, we did a join with the categories table and let me show you the output. And you can see we have our employees table taken from the database and our products taken from the database. So we're going to do the same thing but in an object oriented way. So if we go to the htdocs folder, I've created a folder called connect2 and that's where we're going to build this. So I'm going to create a new file called index.php. So let's go to localhost slash connect, I'm sorry, connect to, and let's go ahead and look at the uh, snippet, <clears throat> I'm sorry, let's look at the file from the original connect document. We created the connection, we checked it, um, we created a result from a query and then we implemented it in a table we made a while loop and in the loop we outputted the ID first name last name department email so we're going to do the same thing but using objects <coughs> excuse me so let's open this up and the first thing we're going to do let's grab this first line of our procedural type file and to make this object orientated we are going to say um, mysqli equals let's just get rid of that completely new so we're creating a new object mysqli so we're creating a new MySQLi object, and in here is where we want to put our parameters: uh, localhost, uh, root, password, and the database name, which is company. All right, so that's how we do that. That's how we create a connection using uh, objects or object oriented programming. Next we want to check the connection and there's not too much different here if I just copy this and then if we look at the differences here uh, there really isn't any I guess we could use a printf we can make this a little safer using printf and we'll say connection failed and then we want a substitute character with is the percent s and then we'll do a new line and then put a comma and my sqli connect error Alright, so it's basically just going to print out connection field and then we have a substitution character which will be replaced with the error here. Okay, and this makes a new line. And I'm sorry, we should have a double quotes here. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so let's look at our next line we have the result variable which is equal to a query that's being run so we're going to do the same thing here 
Well, except we're not going to use this, this MySQLI query and then function. We're going to take our MySQLI object and then call the query method of the object. So we can get rid of this here. And when we do this, we don't need this first parameter of connect. And now that I see it, we don't need this connect variable either. We're not going to need this anywhere. So you can see we have a result that's equal to the MySQLI object, which we created right here. And it has a query method. And that query method takes the actual query which in this case is select all from employees. All right, so let's close this off because we, we want to make a table like we did in the previous section. So let's say um, H1 employees. So here we want a table and we say width of 500 cell padding equals 5 cell spacing equals 5 and border equals 1 okay now we need our headings, and I might as well just copy it from the old file. Grab that. Okay. So now what we need to do is call our while loop right under here. And let's look at the old one, the procedural one. So I'm actually going to just copy it so I can show you exactly what needs to change. All right, so we have a PHP while loop. Now, we want to keep the row equals, but instead of this MySQL fetch array, what we need to do is take the MySQLI object and run the fetch object method. And we don't want we don't need this result variable. Okay, so that's the while loop. Now we can end that with PHP end while. And then all our code can go between here. And I'm going to copy that. But in this case, what we're doing is row is an array. So we're getting the array values with the brackets. In this case, we're getting objects. So to get an object, instead of having the brackets with the ID, we want to do this. We want to have the row and then the arrow and the ID. Okay, so that's how this works. So let's do that with all of these. And this is the way I prefer to do it. What would I do? Row email. Okay, so let's get rid of these brackets and quotes. Okay, so I think that looks good. So we're fetching an object. That's why this is in how you would print out an object value as opposed to an array value. So let's save that and see what, what happens. Okay, so we get syntax error, unexpected on line 22. And I see my problem. I have row equals MySQLI fetch object. This should actually be result. This is coming from this. So let's save that. Hopefully that works. And yes. Now we're getting our employees table. So you can see we're doing the same exact thing. We're just doing it in an object-oriented way. 
uh, with these arrows. So let's do the same thing for the products table. So we need to write out our query. So down here we'll start a new PHP block and this will get products. So we need to create a result variable which will go to my, my SQLI uh, query. So that query is going to be this is going to be our join query. So select products.name, um, select categories.name, and we're going to select categories.name as category. Okay, and we want to select products.id as um, prod ID. All right, as prod ID. Okay, let's space this out a little so it's easier to read. And this is going to be from the products table. And then we're going to left join the categories table. And that's going to be on products dot category uh, equals categories dot ID. So those are going to be the same values. All right, so that looks good. Let me just double check. Yeah, all right. So now we need to create our table so I'm just going to actually copy all this actually I'm going to copy this entire table and we'll just change it as we go so we need to end our PHP block and change this to products Whoops. Jesus I can't spell today As you can see, technology was my thing, not grammar or composition. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have three columns, and that's going to be um, it's going to be the product ID, the product name. So we'll just say product, and we want the category, not the category ID. We want the category name. So down here, this line should, actually we need our result, actually no, our result variable is right here. So this, this um, while loop is fine. Now we just need to change these values. So it's gonna be row ID, and then it's gonna be row um, products name. Yeah, it'll be row name. One second. Yeah, row name. And then we'll have row um, category. And this should be prod ID. Okay, so let's, um, let's save that. Reload. Okay, we have an error on line 35. My SQLI query select products.name categories as category, products.id as prod ID. Um, I'm sorry, we need the dollar sign in front of the MySQLI. All right, so that should work. All right, there we go. So as you can see, we've done the same exact thing. This is connect one, which was done with in the procedural fashion, and this was done in the object-orientated fashion. 
So the next thing I want to do is in the next section I want to go into PDO which is uh, a much more secure and reliable way of dealing with the database. It's actually the preferred method or, or the best practice when dealing with relational databases. So that's what we're, we're going to get into next.